morning to everybody and welcome to IIE MSA and our third annual Water Symposium. We really have quite a diversity of participants with us today. Public and private sectors, other institutions, universities, government departments, NGOs, and we even have some community representatives. Water is at a stage now in the world where it's a concern for all. From the supply, to the transportation, to the keeping storage, to the delivery, there's not a single area where it's going well. 5,000 children under the age of five die daily from water-related issues, from contamination to poor, poor hygiene, all related to water. There's not a wall that can compare to that. So really at this symposium, what we wanted to do was provide a platform to bring people together to talk about citizen science. You know, there are a lot of ordinary citizens taking part in collecting data, uh, which really does give us a very good picture of what the environment and our environmental resources look like. But what we really need to do is capacitate people to be able to address, solve or overcome the issues that they've identified. So not only do we want to encourage citizens to be involved, but we want to and need to find ways to strengthen their capacity to take action and be change agents. Guys, we should be proud to be South Africans. It's not just because it's the best country in the world to live in, but because some of the best science in the world is happening right here in South Africa. The number of people that are here today really shows that citizen science is a really growing space. Many SASs is an extreme assessment scoring system. So depending on the presence or absence of macroinvertebrates, you can actually determine the condition or the ecological category that that river falls in at that point in time. So the United Nations looked at this and said, hey guys, you guys have got one of the best biomonitoring practices in the world. Can we use it in every other country in the world? Citizen science is very critical to UNICEF and we believe that this is a scientific platform where knowledge is generated from the ground going upwards. And we're observing that it has had a very positive impact on improving SDG 6. So the citizen science solutions for us are very much relevant because they're simple, practical, yet scientifically proven and they have the rigor. The perspective that UNICEF is coming from is that take on the gaps and not reinvent the wheel. What is the process? What is the chain? How does it look like? Um, who is involved? Who is supporting? Who is responsible for what? It's not just about having people out there. It's about capacitating them. It's about learning. It's about learning together, not just them learning, but us learning through the process. And, and, and as I said, collaborating and coordinating for impact. Because if, we, if we're working in different, you know, all in silos, we don't realize the impact that we are looking for. Um, and, and obviously, this is just our proof of concept of investment in, in ecological infrastructure through a multi-stakeholder partnership. Because no single organization can do this work on its own. This kind of symposium is really amazing for the field of water management. What we're finding about citizen science is it really is a chance for anybody to become involved, engaged in water. So citizen science is not about somebody over there. It's about me, it's about you, it's about sharing, it's about engaging. And for me, I think that is the, the part that people should emphasize. Everyone can be involved. We actually want um, us as people in the citizen science space to know each other, to know what we're doing, to know, to share information, to learn together um, and, and, and have a more transformative approach to, to, to citizen science. 
Um, the perspectives were very different and quite eye-opening for myself as well. I think when you're working in the citizen science space, you have a particular lens in how you look at the issues being faced or the barriers to citizen science. And I really appreciated how the group I was working with acknowledged how indigenous knowledge is often overlooked or disregarded as valuable in the scientific field. The challenges have never been bigger for South Africa. South Africa is the best place on earth to live in. Together, we can shape an incredible, sustainable future.